This week on The Modified World, I'm punching conches and answering questions. So stick around. <sighs> so welcome to The Modified World, the weekly web show about body modification. People who do it, the people who get it, and why it matters. I am your host. I am J.C. Potts, Senior Piercer, the world-renowned Pangea Piercing beautiful downtown Ann Arbor, Michigan, and of course the purveyor of internet wackiness that you all have come to love and expect to see every week. And this week, this week I had a nice young lady come in, get her conch pierced. She wanted a ring in there, but I always steer the folks away from starting out with a ring. Why? Because they flop and move and just heal like crap generally and sore for about a year during the process so we just avoid all that and go with a sweet little barbell in this case we used a nifty industrial strength claw set opal the fire opal bright red anodized it bronze it looks hot that's one of my favorite color combinations is the red fire opal with bronze titanium if you tried to angle it of course so the ring would fit nicely on there and I like using the biopsy punch because, of course, since it cores out a little bit of the cartilage and just allows you to grow skin over the sides of the hole, it heals so much faster and easier with less chance of scarring, at least in my experience. Touching the course though. I have to yell at you. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, God, you're gonna love it. Oh my God, it's so hot. Of course, just because we're keeping it interesting, I'm not just bringing you piercings, I'm also answering your questions. Either the more intelligent or the more interesting or the ones that don't require necessarily a whole video and visual explanation to try to to try to explain. I'll, I'll pick one out and answer it. This week I'm actually answering two questions. So two happy people get sweet swag packs sent to me. And what is a swag pack? Oh well hell it's just stickers and buttons and stuff like that. You know stuff that you might like. And it's free, so hey. Anywho, this week's questions come from Liza Solomon, who asks, Who's the camera crew? And who edits all the footage? Well, that's pretty easy, actually. I shoot about half of it. And my partner, Dan Bakke, shoots the other half. And... Dan edits 100% of the footage. I don't even know how to import footage into Final Cut. I don't know how to use After Effects. None of that stuff. I can kind of hack my way through iMovie and the results are often less than exciting. If you go to my one of my older channels, wherehome.net, you can see exactly what happens when I shoot and edit all the footage. And let me tell you, it's not exactly awesome. And that's part of where all the expense of all this show comes in, because Dan is not a volunteer or anything. 
Dan is an actual professional video person. And hence, with that, he needs, of course, paychecks. So, I do this. And, of course, I volunteer my time. But, you know, like I said, Dan, Dan costs money. But Dan's also the reason that this is entertaining and educational and not horribly boring. I feel like the jump cut is lazy filmmaking. And this is why I always shoot with two cameras. We always shoot with separate audio. We try to bring a quality product to the audience. Because to me, if you're willing to cut a bunch of corners on you know, your educational products, then you're probably cutting corners elsewhere. And I feel like this is how, I, you know, this represents me. And, you know, as somebody who cuts no corners and gives no quarter when it comes to body piercing, I'm certainly not going to do the, you know, the cheap or easy route of doing piercing videos either. So, that answers your question. It's me and Dan Bakke. And if you go through some of my older videos, you can actually see... Little clips of Dan getting ear piercing or something along those lines. He's not a huge mod person, actually. And when I say not a huge mod person, he doesn't have a single tattoo and has his ear lobes pierced. And I believe he even took the. I even, I even believe he took his earlobe piercings out. And we're completely okay with that. We're kind of the odd couple. It's funny. You know, I don't know if I'd be able to. Well, I can tell you this I wouldn't be able to continue without Dan. If he ever gets a, you know, Hollywood ever comes and hires his ass, which is very likely because he's good, uh, <laughs> it doesn't spell good things for the show because I just, at this point, man, I don't even like working with anybody else. So, yeah. My other question comes from Jason Millsaps. He says, JC, if you didn't own your own shop, which pre-existing one would you want to work at? To me, that's another good question, too. If you were to ask me right now with it being this cold outside here in Michigan, I'd probably say somewhere warm. <laughs> but it's a tough one. I have a really hard time with thinking of where exactly would I want to work. Uh, probably, in all reality, I'd probably want to work at Insight Studios in Chicago with Bob Jones. The guy is a master, and we have very similar mindsets about how business should be done. Beyond that, it'd be kind of tough because, you know... I would require working with somebody who has, a, you know, similar mindsets. So, needless to say, I, or so needless to say, I don't know if I'd be able to just go anywhere. That would probably be where I'd go if I was going to work anywhere. Either that, or just set up a shop myself in some place warm. <laughs> but hey, thanks for the question, guys. Swag packs inbound. You know, and of course, if you leave me a question in the comment section down below. And if I like it or I answer it or any of that stuff, I'll send you stickers, buttons, blah, 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 maybe even t-shirts, you never know. Anywhere in the world, for free. It's my way of saying thank you so much for, you know, being involved in the internet wackiness. And that was my show this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something possibly remotely entertained. I do this every week. So, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, you probably should. You don't want to miss out on any of the fun. And, of course... Sure to step back by next week for another episode of The Modified World. Ding!